The Select tool in Mesh Mixer gives you different options to select and modify parts of your model instead of working with the entire model at once. To use the Select tool, you'll click Select over in the left side, and then it'll bring up the Select menu. By default, you'll see here that you've got a brush, and what this does is basically just allows you to brush over parts of your model to select and highlight it. So everything that is in orange is selected and everything in gray will be untouched. So one thing that you will have to keep in mind is that since you are working with a 3D model, you just have to double check the underside and you'll see that here a lot of this did not actually get selected because the brush wasn't able to reach it. So one thing you can actually do is since this brush is small, you can actually come over to the menu and click the size and you can actually adjust the size of the brush. So if you wanna use a larger brush, you can use something bigger like this or make it a bit smaller depending on your preference. If you're working with a model that has a little bit more symmetry, you can actually also choose the symmetry button over here in the menu. And what this does is you'll see it adds a white line right down the center of your model. So now when you attempt to brush over, it will try to do the same on the exact same side on the other side. This just makes it a little bit easier depending on the model that you're working with. Now to clear your selection, you can, cr you can click this. What that will do is it will actually undo your entire, um, your entire selection. So if you clear that, it will actually remove everything. So going back into the, into the select menu, there are a couple other options to do selections if the brush tool isn't quite working how you're wanting it to. You can also click and hold the left mouse button anywhere that's not on the model. And when you click and drag, you'll see you'll get this red line here. So anything that ends up inside of the red that you draw around will end up being highlighted. So this is an easier way to kind of select everything and that always selects both sides, so you don't have to worry about it not being selected. In addition, say for example you want to select your entire model, if there are only small parts of it that you don't want to be selected, you can actually hover over, double click, and it will actually select the entire thing. So say for example that you're really only wanting to modify this uh, one single part, you can actually press shift and what that will do is shifting and brushing over will actually undo your selection. So this allows you to deselect small parts of your model if you have everything selected. So I'm gonna go back in and do my selection from before by clicking and dragging a circle around. Now what the select tool allows you to do is that now you have this part highlighted in orange and just that section of the model will be modified. So you'll have these sub menus up here, for example, the edit menu. Now one of the things you can do is erase and fill. So say for example that you want to remove that just, just that one section of the model, you can actually click there. And what that will do is the program will snip off that part of the model and then it will kind of put a cap on the end of it so that it will try to keep that boundary closed so that your model remains watertight. So that's just one way to remove parts of your model in a very easy and fast manner. So you can either press accept to accept that change or you can press cancel and that will take you back to the screen you were at before. You can also discard, reduce, which will reduce the number of triangles. You can remesh. Uh, one of the ones that you may want to be aware of is the separate tool here. So what this will actually do is it will take that orange selected part of your model and separate it from the rest of the model. So when you look in the objects browser, you will then actually have two separate objects in there. This is not the necessarily the best way to separate a part from your model, but it is a very fast way to do it. So other options here, you can smooth this out. So as you can see, it removed quite a bit of the detail and smoothed out the, the surface of the model here. You can also transform. Now what this will do is it will try to allow you to move this section of the model out and the program will try to make some geometry here that will continue to attach the two parts together while letting you kind of move it where you want it to be. The other option here is you can actually under the modify menu, you, you can invert your selection. So that will shift it back to the other side. 
you can invert it again. And one thing that you also want to be aware of is, as you can see here, the selection that I made is rather jagged. The edges here are pretty jagged. So one of the ways to fix that is to come over back to the Modify menu and click Smooth Boundary. And this will bring up a little blue line here. And you can actually work with these menus here. And as you can see, if I turn this down, it, it keeps the edge really, being really jagged. But if you up the values on the sliders here, this will actually smooth out this line. And then when you press Accept, as you can see now, the selection that I made, the line on that is way smoother. So now, if I want to edit and then erase and fill, you can see that the selection I have is a much nicer edge on that. You can actually press Accept, Clear Selection, and as you can see, now I've just got a nice little cap on that model here. So that is different ways to select and edit your model using the Select tool in Mesh Mixer.